They call it pro football is a milestone for NFL films. It was called the Citizen Kane of football movies when it was released 40 years ago. No one had seen anything quite like it. It was the story of pro football told on an epic scale. And it brought together, for the first time, the music of composer Sam Spence and the voice of narrator John Facendon. We wanted to make a film that reflected the power and passion of the game. Sam's music and John's voice helped us achieve that goal. They were like Unitas and Berry, or Montana and Rice. They were an unbeatable team, and they call it pro football was the perfect showcase for their talents. This is NFL Action, and I'm Pat Summerall. Like an all-pro football player, an award-winning film is the best in its class. They call it pro football, which you're about to see, has won a multitude of honors. It was the first American film in 28 years to win the grand prize at the Cortina Film Festival and was recently honored with first prize at the Sport Film Festival in Oberhausen, Germany. It is a film that speaks an international language, the beauty and violence of professional football. a game a handful of spectators came to see. A tug of war, 22 nameless men grappling in the mud. They called it pro football. Yeah, as you line up here, get a program. Football line up here. Got to take it down, fella. Hey, uh, yeah, you line up here, get a program. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you yes, so line right. up here, get a program. Line Anyone up. else that didn't get a program? You're going to be sorry when you're sober. Good allegation. Starts with a whistle and ends with a gun. 60 minutes of close in action from kickoff to touchdown. This is pro football, the sport of our time. 
The men who play it are the best there are, disciplined professionals who perform on a stage a hundred yards long. For the audience crowding the stands, the drama begins with a slap of leather in the song of Men in Motion. But for 1,500 professional football players, it begins in the relentless heat of midsummer. 15, 29, even. Improve day by day by day, and all of a sudden you're a lot better. And if you want a job now, you gotta work hard. <laughs> Keep him in front. Keep him in front. Snap that back. Snap that back. <laughs> screen is the screen is like Novocaine. You gotta wait and let it take effect. See? Right. Even. Good count. Even. The teasing is over. That second move, boy, get going back because you released the ball. Green Bay is home team, love visiting team. You call it and it's up in the air. Trail. Eleven trained men face to face on the field of play. Each man a specialist, but one man stands above the rest. He occupies the most critical position in the game. He is the quarterback. He plots, directs, and executes the on-field fortunes of his team. The quarterback lives in a world of pressure. How well he lives with it and reacts to it determines how good he is. He must have a cool disregard for danger and the courage to take punishment. quarterback has two formidable allies. One is deception. By clever faking, he can confuse the defense and open a clear path for the play. His second ally is the forward pass. It's a long bomb. A screen pass over charging linemen. A bullet from the midst of a traffic jam. The pass in the hands of a pro quarterback is a bolt of lightning that can strike anywhere, anytime. Each quarterback in the NFL has his own particular style. There's Fran talking who seeded the word scramble into the vocabulary of pro football. He may pass, run, or just drop back 20 or 30 yards before he makes up his mind. Sonny Jurgison of the Washington Redskins, a whiplash passer whose rifle arm can put the ball anywhere on the field. Jurgison is considered the finest Redskin quarterback since the Simey Barr era. John Unitas of the Baltimore Colts, a classic quarterback whose timing and control is cool, swift, and precise. Unitas, a fierce competitor with a flair for surprises. Bart Starr, the Green Bay Packers, a careful field general as well as an exponent of a calculated risk. He has guided his team to four world championships.
Second only in importance to the mind and arm of the quarterback is the instinct and legs of the runners. Give me 18 inches of daylight. That's all I need. When Gale Sayers gets those 18 inches of daylight, the Chicago Bears usually win. When he doesn't, they don't. It's as simple as that. Gale Sayers, the halfback, the whirlwind runner that comes along once in a generation. by himself, a spinning, dancing dervish. The halfback, the runner with speed and breakaway ability. Every team in the NFL that boasts a balanced attack has a phantom flyer in its lineup. Power gear in the offensive machine is the fullback. We tell our ball carrier to come across hard and fast till he gets the ball. Once he gets it, to come under control and button hook slightly. Key the block on the linebacker, or key the block of the YN. If the YN has the linebacker taken out, he cuts inside. If the YN has the linebacker in, he comes all the way around. If you look at this play, what we're trying to get is a seal here and a seal here and try to run this play in the alley. Jim Taylor, number 31, is a fullback, and this is the way of fullbacks. is the prime requisite. Quickness, an asset. The approach is not subtle. The yards he gains, the toughest. the runners, the racehorse halfbacks and locomotive fullbacks. Theirs is the speed and the fury, and to them must go the glory. This yard of space is called no man's land. Football games are won or lost by control of this narrow strip of land. The battle for it is a violent one. The hands of combat. The hands of pros. This is the part of the game rarely seen by the spectator. The shattering impact of a block. The mountainous size of an onrushing defender. The splintering force of a forearm shiver. One ton of muscle with a one-track mind. Down in the dirt, the lair of the lineman. This is where the game is played. The fringe of no man's land is patrolled by the linebackers. The search and destroy men of the defense. Number 50, search and destroy. Number 58, search and destroy.
Sunday after Sunday, pro quarterbacks have learned that whatever play they call, a linebacker is likely to meet it head on. This is the face of the tiger. And this, the action of the tiger. Linebackers provide the defense with enormous flexibility. They can charge through the line into the enemy backfield or slide laterally against plays to the outside. Roving far from the ruck of the scrimmage line is the pass receiver. His range carries him into heavy traffic or through the shifting dangers of a broken field. The pass catches of pro football's men on the run, measuring their survival by the twist of a shoulder. A head fake. The burning speed that cuts them free. The philosophy of successful pass receiving is simple. Be alone when the ball arrives. But with a big tight end like John Mackey, number 88, it doesn't make any difference. and disciplined patterns of Raymond Berry, number 82, have made him the most proficient pass catcher in history. The rapport that exists between a gifted passer and his favorite receiver is part instinct, part practice, and part luck. the hands, the moves, the grace, and a willing disregard for the consequences. Opposing the receiver is the defensive back. One man alone facing another man alone. A man whose skill and wits he knows and fears but must cancel. His directive, stop the play. Guess and gamble but don't fail. They're the last line of the defense. They pick up the pieces that the line and linebackers let through. For the 
defensive back, the glory is great. Or the disgrace, absolute. For others, there is anger, despair, exultation, moments of emotion that pierce the frenzy of play to reveal the man behind the uniform. So they call it pro football. They play it under the autumn moon and the heat of a Texas afternoon. In the ice bucket chill of a Wisconsin winter. In the snow, fog, and wind. And thousands come to watch or sleep to cheer or stand in silent adulation. And millions more sit at home before TV sets, pursuing the elusive magic of the golden game. All right, 60 on four and the ISO. Very good. Ready, one, one. If I anticipate a dog and I go uh, brown right, 83, that's uh, Gary on the quick post. Yeah. Have him do an X V out, quick V out rather than the post. Okay, Don. It'll be still a dog pass, but tell him not to take a half hour to make the V out. Well, don't move. take a half hour to make the V out either. That's the official time. Tell him about it. Tell him on the short yard he's gonna go ahead and hit you. If he stays out, go ahead and run a shoot. If he goes out, if I run out. You think you can key it that fast? Timmy, go in the next play and tell him to remember to the stutter pass, break right. Now, if Shinny comes, block him in, you got it? Hey, listen, tell, tell Mel the next time on that Taylor now, he knows he's going for the turn in for the pick, so he wants to be ready to come across it. Okay. Oh! Let's go, let's go. Right, right now. Time well, you can released inside and Mike dropped off, so I figured it was a... We were playing it. All right, well, all right. Oh, boy, I just told him about that late play. And that guy's mind didn't mesh for a long time, I'll tell you that. He's got to have more conviction than that. Pretty slow decision, Stan. Pretty slow decision. The ball hits the ground and bounce, and he comes in. It's too late. Come on, come on. Turn the car, turn the car, turn the car, turn the car. Down by two feet, two feet. He's got it easy. He's got it easy. I can't see. Oh, the thing is way over here. He's got it by a two feet. Joe, look at that now. See how your eyes were. Foot, you foot. said two feet. All right, well, what's the difference between eight inches and two feet? Five and a half feet. Eight, eight, eight inches. A call. The ball is snapped and the play continues. A drum of man on man in a race against the clock. It's precision, persistence, power. The unleashed speed of the kickoff, the whistling feet of a great runner, the reckless fury of a goal line stand, the crowning glory of a winning touchdown, the swelling roar of the crowd. It's called pro football.
This NFL Films production has been brought to you by NFL Network. Watch the National Football League 24 hours a day on NFL Network.